Okay, I have a PSP, 6.2 Pro B6. And I wanted to play. Just this Tron UMD, and I wanted to play it with the Tron UMD. Required 6.31 update. I wanted to stay at 6.2, so. I need to somehow not update to that. To avoid that. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to update or how to avoid the update the UMD and play the game without updating out of your custom I'll firmware. Show you how it says so I'll show you here. 6.31 updates required. I start trying to play the UMD and it says that you need to update to 6.31. You have version 6.2 right now. I say no, I will not update. ISO 2 will under my memory card. Here I have visit uh, PSP ISO. and the ISO tool will work on official firmware too, but it has to be older official firmware. The official firmware that had the kernel access, so that would be anything above 6.35 or below 6.35. So you click UMD drive. Okay, so we want to select UMD drive. That's of course where the game is. The game is in the. I will convert it to a CSO. Press X. Convert it to CSO. Okay, so and I'll do a compression level six. Let me say compression level. Threshold one hundred percent. And threshold one hundred percent. And then here you type in the game, unless you want to keep it as that random letters and numbers that are the ID of the game. But I change mine to the real name of the game. So I'm going to type that in here. So what I'm doing is I'm converting this off the UMD onto my memory card. This way I can play it without the update of firmware. And this should work on 6.2 and 6.35 Pro. Okay, so I Start. Mm, Do I want to start yes, X? Start. And start yes or no, we'll say yes. And then they'll start turning and it into yes, no. And then it will load down your memory card. Depend on, like, how much and if you have a firmware that does not allow kernel access, you would not be able to get this far. Um, this one's going to take about 7 minutes. I did NBA Live 08, that took about 2 hours. So it depends, game to game, how long it'll take. Now we're just going to skip by how long this takes. Okay, so my camera recording ran out of batteries, so uh, I just got out of the C got out of the ISO tool after it finished. And um, turned off my PSP, turned it back on now. And I'm going to show you what you would do if you have official firmware, you'd have to do this. Also, like after you convert to a CSO, if you have official firmware, you're also going to have to do this. So we'll wait for that to load. Okay, so you'd have to go down to your name of the game and then CSO, and you're going to want to eBoot Decrypt. Or convert to eBoots, and they'll convert it to your eBoot, and then you can play it on official firmware. But I'm going to turn off my PSP, because using the home button on ISO tool doesn't work. Turn back on my PSP. So now if I go down to my memory card, well first, actually I'll take out the UMD, show you that I'm not using the UMD. Have the UMD out, it's the Tron one. So now I'll go to my memory card, I'll click on Tron right there. And it'll start loading the game.
Now the screen flashed red right there, which is kind of weird, but it does end up working. Because there's the opening video. I'll skip by that. Okay, and now it is loaded and it's working. So that's how you convert it from a UMD to a CSO and how you avoid the update of official firmware.